What's up, guys? I'm Ben 2000 Y Joe. I'm your friendly neighborhood Yu Gi Oh superhero, and I'm bringing you another Master Rule 5 video. Stick around. Now, before we get into the video, guys, I do want to say this real quick. Uh, I have like two things I need to say. First of all, for the MR5 comment, uh, guys, that is a community term. It's not an official in Master Rule 5 or anything like that. Um, I know I've been getting some comments about it lately, but the but I just wanted to go ahead and address it. That is a community term, and that is the term that is uh, going to be used to search videos like these. So that is why the title is called it involves in Master Rule 5, and that's why I'm going to refer to it as Master Rule 5 because it's a community term. Um, it's like when you say MST or Rota, you know, it's it's a community term. It's not an actual term that you'll see or like spell speed for community term. So that's for the trolls who want to comment. It's not Master Rule 5. I don't care. All right. It's a community term. The community has dubbed that. And if you don't like that, well, you know, you're outnumbered. Sorry. Um... The other thing is, the second thing I want to go is, yes, I probably sound like crap and look a little bit like crap. I am a little under the weather. Uh, I've just felt good enough to do this video now, so, and it's like, you know, nighttime now where I'm at, so, if I sound like a zombie for my subscribers, I apologize, um, but uh, that, the truth is, I just, I don't feel that great, and uh, so, yeah. So let's get into the video. These are 10 Link monsters that will still be used, that you will still see in Master Rule 5, assuming that none of them get on the ban list. That's the other caveat to this video. Um, assuming none of these guys get banned, because some of these cards, uh, especially towards like the second half of the list, are just broken. I, I could see certain of these cards getting limited or banned, so, you know, bear... So with that caveat, assuming none of these cards get hit ever, uh, here's 10 cards that will still be seen in Master Rule 5, where you can now play uh, Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz without the need of Link Zones. Let's check it out. All right, so obviously, guys, the first one here, and I've got my headphones on, hold on. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see on the screen, the first one that we're going to have is Apoloza and Burl Sword. Uh, Slim did a video recently, uh, Slim YGO, if you don't know, if you haven't heard of him, you'd go, ch go check him out. Uh, he's given me a shout out before. I'm sure many of you on my audience are familiar with him. He said these two cards are the two big cards that are going to still be seen, and that's why they're the first one on the list. Um, the other thing is, is that these, the, they're, they're the first because they're the two most obvious. Uh, that's another thing, by the way, for this list. Uh, some of these cards will be uh, multiples, <laughs> but, you know, they're just, they're, there's just, you know what I mean? They're all on the same level, so I just felt like they, you know, just throw them in together as one. So the first one that you have here is Apoloza, which is a multi-negator, very much, I'm sure you guys who are remote, familiar with my channel has heard me talk about Dolka, because my dinosaurs are my primary deck right now. Um, Dolka is a multi-negator, it's not a once per turn, she's not once per turn either. And then of course we have uh, Boral Sword Dragon. So it's it's the OTK. It's the it's the most generic OTK machine out there. Uh, this guy is just designed to steal games. So there you go. There's your two ones. Now for the next one we have is Pendulums. You guys saw my last video that did really well, and that was is about the five Pendulum decks that are still going to be played. Well, that's why that leads me to these two Link monsters here that are still going to see lots of play. Zephyr Metaltron and Heavy Metal Foes Electromite are both primary Pendulum based support and these two guys here are going to still see play in Pendulum decks. Electromite more than Metaltron here but I've had, if they play the Zephyr engine more than likely they'll play Metaltron too or they're, if they're just like me who just like it so because <laughs> he does look cool. Uh, side noting is, is that the uh, that, that this is just, you know, the, the pendulums are going to need link monsters to to be at full power. So obviously, if, assuming neither of these guys get hit, you'll still see play from them. Next one is we have Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. Uh, the reason why is because this guy is also a, he's not an OTK machine necessarily, but he is a heavy hitter and he's hard to get rid of. So beating him in battle is next to impossible. 
the point is, is Mech Knight Evermax is going to do heavy damage. He's hard to get rid of. And the fact that he can't be targeted is going to be uh, it's going to be one of those cards uh, that is just it's still going to cease play. On top of that, he's able to shuffle a card when you do finally beat him. So, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Crusadia Avermax is still going to see play. So uh, I wouldn't put away your Link Monsters just yet. Uh, the next one is Topological Zoroboros. The reason why this one also will see lots of plays is because he's a board wipe. Think of the Link version of Judgment Dragon. And his effect monsters, right? So he's basically a Judgment Dragon for everybody. Um, he even will, he'll leave the field, but he'll come back stronger, and he can just keep doing that. I mean, there's tons of cards out there that just special summon themselves and then come back, and it's it's he's just a gnarly card. So I really do think that this guy is one of those cards that we'll still see play. Next one we have is Serio just Skulldread, and the reason why he is also going to be one of those cards that you're still going to see play when we hit Master Level Five is because. Uh, drawing cards now he's another card i do think that could get hit on the list in the future um that being said even though he could get hit he's still a powerful monster but being able to boost your own monsters which would which will facilitate otks he still special summons monsters on top of that he also has the ability to draw so he's a deck thin based card so you're deck thinning, you're drawing, you know, you're you're gaining attack points. He's just going to be that much of it, and you're special summoning monsters. He's a, he's going to be an OTK enabler. So even if the deck doesn't primarily link summon, they can still use him. And the next one we have is the Blackluster Soldier Link monster. Uh, this guy's like if you use the level seven, I think he can't be targeted by a card effects and not to mention he has like three very powerful effects one of them being an attack gaining ability and a banishment base ability this is another guy that you will see that uh can be targeted by monster effects too if you use a level seven and he's just one of those monsters that's i still think is going to see some level of play um especially if they're looking for a, a monster that can make himself where he can't be targeted i think that's still going to be useful monsters that can do that have always seen a level of play in this game and I think they, uh, the Black Luster Soldier Link monster will be no different. The next one is actually was on my on my list is Nightmare Phoenix. But the truth is, I threw in the other nightmares that are that basically have the same response. But basically, Nightmare Phoenix, Unicorn, and Cerberus. And the reason why is because they are spot removal. We are in the game are always going to need things like that. It's, it's spot removal, and it's the best kind of spot removal. It's spot removal with a monster because. Having the ability to remove an opponent's monster while having something else you can hit them with is still something you're going to see in the game. I mean, especially Nightmare Phoenix more so than the other two, because just getting rid of that a back row or a floodgate will be instrumental in playing the game going forward. Especially because, I mean, now the only difference now is you'll have options. You won't solely be reliant on Nightmare Phoenix, but you will be. But there will be decks that will still prefer Nightmare Phoenix over, say, something like, uh, you know, like say Yazi, the Evil of the Yang Zing, as an example there. You know, but back row removal is back row removal. It's just I'm just saying that these guys will still see some level of play. Next one is Isold, the Two Tales of the Noble Knights. The reason why uh, Isold is able to search a, a warrior from the deck, so you know you can't use it that turn. You get to add a warrior deck thinning because equip spells go to the graveyard which could be useful especially if you're still playing the bamboo engine which because this is a consistent way to get to it and then the other part of it is is that this card also special summons a warrior which you can use for your synchros uh your exceeds whatever you would be, need to use it for so i still think that the noble the two tails of the noble knights will still be a link monster that you will see played because it will be a play extender and then thus by using this card will also probably be used as a stepping stone for some of the link fours you've already seen in the list so far uh i could i wouldn't be shocked if i saw this used as like a link stepping stone for like the the mech knight or or the Blackluster Soldier Link Monster. All right, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spears. Every dragon deck I think of is still benefits from playing this card. For one, it tributes itself. Uh, so basically, it's a compulse on, on, well, it would be a compulse on legs if it had any legs, but it basically is a compulse. So it's a, it is a disruptor type card. And dragons have very limited level of disruption. Uh, most of them are like they're only used on their turn. They're not like there's there are some powerful negation cards that are dragons But for the most part the pool of dragons just doesn't work as Disrupting the opponent. So this is one of those cards I still think we'll see play in the future because disrupting the opponent is kind of the name of the game 
uh, you either build your deck to break boards or you build your deck to build boards, if that makes any sense. So that's what this guy is. His whole point is I'm going to go first, build my board, and have this guy on the field as a disruptor for the opponent. Uh, so I still think he'll still play. Plus, it self-replaces itself, so you could basically pick another dragon that could be useful, like Red Eyes, uh, the Amorphage Goliath, um, or just, you know, even if you want to go old school, you could do something like Mass Dragon or something. I mean, that's just this is a silly example, but you, you guys get the point. And the last one is a monster that I'm not sure whether it will be legal or not. Predaplant Verde Anaconda, and that's I think that's its OCG name. I don't know what its TCG name will be if, it, if they're going to change it or whatnot. But basically, this is the last card on my list. And the reason why is because as currently I'm making this video, it's still an OCG only card. But I still think that as long as it is not banned on the Yu-Gi-Oh list, even in Master Rule 5, it will see play. Why? Because it is a consistent way to get to your fusion cards. Um, as you guys probably are aware, we have a Dark Magician fusion monster that is coming out that is basically Red Eyes Black Dragon or any effect dragon plus a Dark Magician. The guy is a walking negator that gains attack points, can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. The guy is literally the epitome of Yu-Gi-Oh! and is going to be the, 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 mon the boss monster from hell for all of us because there's no way in hell Konami's gonna let that card be be anything remotely more than like a secret rare or some nonsense like that. There's just no way. So with a fusion monster like that in mind, it's coming to the game soon, this guy is certainly going to see some level of play because at the end of the day, this guy is literally just, oh yeah, you, you like fusion monsters? Well, this link monster is gonna help you get there. I mean, he's literally, you take two, any two effect monsters, get stupid dragon fusion guy. Uh, <laughs> if you throw this card in any any fusion based deck, it's just oh yeah, play take take two effect monsters, turn turn them into a plant and a you know and get yourself a free Winda for the Shadal engine. I mean, literally, it's just whatever you need. Um, this card is if, assuming it doesn't get banned. This card will see play in Master Rule Five. Uh, the, the, I have no doubt in my mind. I mean, personally, if I was Konami, what I would do is I would try to get this guy over here before Master Rule 5. I don't remember if anyone has said he's coming out to the, when he, this card is coming out to the TCG. But what I would do is, if I was Konami, I would try to get this guy out before Master Rule 5 hits, uh, before April. Like, maybe drop this guy in, like, a set that's coming out in, like, March, you know? And then I would just, ooh, switch and ban. That's what I would do, personally. So that way players get a chance to play with him with it before all the broken shenanigans happen. But that's just my opinion That on that last part. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you drop me one of these. I'm, I'm going to be doing some more link videos, or not link videos, more list videos involving Master Rule 5 because I think they're really fun to do. Uh, they get me, give me an excuse to just talk to the camera and, you know, have cool stuff happening on my PowerPoint to show you guys. And uh, on top of that, uh, the structure deck wars will be returning soon. I am gonna streamline that again. I just am trying to. I'm gonna try to mix it up a little bit. I know you guys get a little bored with the structure deck wars, so uh, we'll have like a, my next two videos will probably be that, and then I will mix it, mix it up with something else, probably like a master rule five list or a, a personal deck profile or something, or maybe a guest upload. I have, I do have a guy, Owen. If you're out there watching, bro. They're still waiting for your for your video, man. Just saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout you out right here. <laughs> yeah, Owen, you know who you are, man. <laughs> uh, he's gonna come on. Uh, that my my buddy is gonna come on here, and he's gonna make. He's still making a video, but he's gonna make a video for you guys soon. So as soon as he gets it and sends it, emails it to me, uh, I'll upload it and get it up to where you guys can see him and hear hear about my buddy's channel. So. Anyway, guys, I'm Benton. That was YGO. I'm your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, and I'll catch you in the next one.